Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to go over P mitral, which is an EKG finding that can indicate left atrial enlargement in your patient. So what we need to memorize is that P mitral, think P meaning the P wave and mitral meaning the left side of the heart, think the mitral valve. So P mitral is defined as having an M shaped P wave, think M for mitral that is greater than 0.12 seconds and has a notch that is greater than 0.04 seconds. Remember that the normal P wave duration is anywhere from 0.08 to 0.11 seconds. Basically, we have a P wave that is prolonged and has a notch and it must meet the length criteria to be called P mitral. So what causes this weird looking P wave? Let's think about it. So we know that the first portion of a normal P wave represents the depolarization of the right atria. And the second portion represents the depolarization of a normal left atria. So imagine that we, have, we start out normal. We have a normal SA node that generates an electrical impulse that heads towards lead one and lead two. This will create the first portion or the positive deflection on the EKG that we know as the P wave. Now, imagine that instead of a normal left atria, we have an enlarged left atria. This creates an impulse as well that heads towards lead one and lead two. This also creates a second positive deflection on the EKG. So what is the result? We have a notched P wave that is also called an M wave. Think M for mitral. M for left atrial enlargement. So we should know that this M wave is not very common, but it can be highly indicative that your patient's left atria has become enlarged. So what causes a, an enlarged left atrium in your patient? If your patient has severe mitral valve stenosis, which basically means that they have a narrow mitral valve, or if the mitral valve is stenotic, like a cocktail straw instead of a normal milkshake straw, then the left atria is going to have to work very, very hard to make sure that it can squeeze the blood into the left ventricle. Whenever the left atria works out like this, think, if it has to go against more resistance, it's like it's lifting weights. So it goes stronger and bigger and eventually it becomes more enlarged. And eventually, to accommodate more blood to make sure that our heart is pumping out enough blood, the left atria will eventually stretch and become floppy. In summary, P mitral is characterized by a notched P wave with a length that is greater than 0.12 seconds and a notch that is greater than 0.04 seconds. Think, if it is greater than three small squares and has a notch greater than one small square and leads one and two, then you likely have P mitral. Lastly, P mitral is often indicative of left atrial enlargement due to mitral valve diseases like mitral stenosis, which requires the left atrium to become larger and floppier. What is the result? The large left atrium will give us a sign called the M wave or P mitral on our EKG and leads one and leads two. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today, and remember to like and subscribe for more content.